Justin here with the Atlanta Brick Company, and I'm here with my friend to discuss some Star Wars. So I hear tell that it's a pretty popular theme, both with adults and children. It's only the first licensed movie Lego ever got back in 1999, and it's still going strong. I mean, it's not like we have this huge portion of the store dedicated to this one single theme. Oh no, it's not anything like that. No siree. Star Wars has been on a bit of a ride, hasn't it? From the simple sci-fi fantasy adventure, to the more childish cheese of the prequels, to a dark brooding story. Basically, there's a Star Wars for everyone. And there's nothing wrong with that. Coinciding with the release of the first prequel, The Phantom Menace, LEGO secured a license with Lucasfilms to produce the first Star Wars sets back in 1999. Now, I wasn't into LEGO collecting at the time, a dark time. I know, but I can imagine how amazing that is, being a Lego fan and being a Star Wars fan and seeing it there for the first time and thinking, there's that thing I like and it's mixed with that other thing I like and they're both the same thing. But what I have for you today is not a set. And today I'm going to do something a little different. Rather than take you through a set and show you the process of refurbishing it, I thought I'd take a break and showcase something that we have in the store that is extremely rare. So rare, in fact, that we don't know much about it. Being the Atlanta Brick Company and having people trade in things from all over, we tend to get odd things sometimes. Sometimes very rare things. Sometimes things we didn't even know existed. So I'm going to show you one of those things today. Now I do want to point out before we begin, Sorry, that was the ignorance warning. I'm not actually that big of a Star Wars expert, but don't worry, there are plenty of people in the store that know everything about every set and every minifigure. We have the experts if you have any questions. I just don't happen to be one of them. Yes, my Jedi and Sith brethren, we have today the special edition White Boba Fett with exclusive art book from 2010. Now, apparently this was given out to VIPs. I don't know if it was free or, or it was an extra purchase. It comes with the white Boba Fett, and I'll show you that close up in a second. Now, this Boba Fett could be purchased in other ways. There was a free promotional poly bag with certain purchases, again, back in 2010, but the book remains the mystery and the real prize here. Now, I will take you through the book a little bit, but however, this book is in pristine mint condition. It's not even creased. So I will not be opening it up all the way and showing you every page. I want to keep it in the nice condition it is, but we will crack it open a little bit and have a peek at the pages, at least some of them. So let me take you in for a closer look and show you this amazing find that the Atlanta Brick Company has. All right, now I've washed my hands about 20 times before getting this. Take the plastic cover off. There it is, nice little Darth Vader, and there's your white Boba Fett. I read somewhere that there were only 100 to 150 of these book minifigure combos made. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if someone's just trying to up the rarity. This is the old style Boba Fett with the helmet and jetpack as one single piece. No printing on the head. In fact, no printing except for the torso there. So you could get this Boba Fett in a promotional poly bag back in 2010. So this guy's worth some cash just by himself. And this was the I believe the concept art Boba Fett. And then we have the original choking hazard warning. This is for six plus. Don't eat it, kids. And a sticker book, which also came with it. Again, with the concept art of Boba Fett.
There's, they actually call him Concept Art Boba Fett. That is what he is. The 2010 minifigures there. So cool. So cool. I think that's a sticker too. Yep. Let's get into the book. Nice minifigure Darth Vader. All right, again, I'm not going to really open it up because as you can see, there's not really, I mean, there's the manufactured crease, but there's not really creases in, oh, look, you got, what is that called, embossed? Embossed uh, Lego symbol there, is that the word for it? And it goes all the way, all around it. And this Darth Vader is attached on the sides here and here. There is a little bit of a divot there. Probably came to us like that. I have you now. Oh. I find your lack of faith disturbing. A lot of awesome. Oh, look at that little Death Star down there. Cool. So this is like a thin plastic here. Oh, and there he is. He is not happy. Some clone troopers. General Grievous. It's a trap. Just some... Oh, it says first release there. There's Boba. More figure art. Second release, it says. Up there. The wish list. Some more sets. Love how they did the composition of the pictures of the set and the art there. Oh, and this, look at that. Oh. There was one, there it is, the little, I forgot what it's called, where it's puffed out a little bit. This thing is awesome. All right, we'll just put her back, and that's it. I believe I got all the pages. I might have skipped one or two. But that is the book. Now, this book is obviously for the super collector. The adult Lego fan that just has to have those rare, hard-to-find items. We don't put this out in the store because we don't know how to price it. It is so odd and it is so rare. I will say that there is a BrickLink seller who is selling this right now in mint condition. And I won't tell you the price he's selling it for. But if I was buying it, I would probably need to take out a loan. My dad always said, if you have to ask the price, then you probably can't afford it. We do ask that because this is such a special item and such a collector piece, that if you do come into our store, please do not ask to see it unless you are seriously considering buying it. And if you want to know the price range, look it up at BrickLink. Basically, make Chris an offer. That's all for the video today. I'm sorry we didn't see a set, but I figured you guys appreciate and enjoy the look at this ultra exclusive awesomeness. So till next time, thank you and we'll see you in the store.